Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, today I'm doing my go-to look. This is a look that it's simple. I would wear it every day, but I just don't. I don't know why. But this is like a go-to look that like I know that no matter where I'm going, this look will be appropriate. Whether it's during the day, whether it's like out to dinner or whatever. It's just a look that I trust. And then I know that it'll look good no matter what, like no matter what I'm wearing, no matter how my hair is, if it's in a ponytail, if it's curled, if it's straight, if it's whatever. I, this is just like my trusty, trusty look. So as I, as you can see, I went ahead and just primed my eyes with concealer as I usually do. And now I'm just going to go ahead and set all of that with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC15. I really love this powder to set my... Uh, eyes I've been doing it a lot lately now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my eyeliner on see I got into the frame this time I usually am never able to get myself to do my eyeliner but I just kind of gently tug on my eye and put like a nice line across my eyelid so right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a q-tip and some of my biodermer and I got a little I usually get a little bit of concealer in my inner corner so I like to take like a makeup wipe or right now like I'm using my biodermer just to clean up whatever is there, just so it has a nice, my makeup has a nice fresh base. Now what I'm using is the Glam Glow Mega Illuminizing, I think that's what it's called, moisturizer all over my face. I really like this moisturizer. Um, I feel like you have to put like a, a pretty decent amount on because a little does not go a long way with it, I feel like. But it definitely gives you a nice luminous look and a nice base for my primer and foundation. Now I'm just going ahead and using the new Becca primer. I think it's the first lighting primer. Not about this, I'm sure. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Mac Strobe Cream. I don't like to use it as a primer. I just like to put it on on top of my primer, just because when I do use it as a primer, my under eyes get really, really cakey. So I just like to put it on as like a nice illuminating base on top of my base. <laughs> so now what I'm taking is my L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation and taking my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial and just mixing them together. I've been doing this a lot lately, like for the past like like two weeks I feel like, and I really, really like how it looks. This look is like my go-to everyday foundation look, I guess I could say right now. Um, I don't think it makes you look overly like luminous or whatever. I feel like it gives you just like, gives me at least the perfect amount of luminosity. I feel like, oh, I just, I love this combination right now. It's like my, it's my everything. So now I'm just taking my e.l.f. foundation brush and taking the foundation and putting it all over my face. This is my favorite way to apply foundation. I think it just gives the best application. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my damp uh, beauty blender and go ahead and buff that in as per usual. Now going in with my Holy Grail Concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. Yes, yeah, the second shade. It's shade Light. Going in, just then just going to go ahead and take my damn Beauty Blender, buff it all in. I like to look up when I do my concealer because I feel like um, if I look straight, I may crease it. So I feel like looking up, I'm definitely able to get the concealer and all the fine lines to avoid it from creasing. So that's pretty much what I do. Now I'm going to go ahead and bake my under eyes using my Kat Von D uh, brightening, Lockheed Brightening Powder. I am obsessed with this powder. It is the only thing that I've been using to set my under eyes for like the past month. And I just, I can't get enough of it. It is literally like everything. My concealer just looks flawless. It doesn't crease. Uh, I can't. Now I'm just going in with my Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm using the Anastasia, um, oh my god, what is it called? The Brow Brush, the one that you use to apply the Dip Brow. That's the brush that I'm using. <laughs> I have been loving this lately. I usually, like, I feel like sometimes a Dip Brow can give me, like, a, too much of a bold brow. But the past, like, week, I have been loving the way the Dip Brow has been just applying like well, applying yeah doing my brows it is just like they look so perfect I haven't even picked up my brows 
is because I'm so completely obsessed right now with my zipper. I don't mind my boyfriend. Sorry, he is getting dressed in the background. But right now, I'm just setting my eyebrows using the L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist the Brow Gel. I love that too. <laughs> Right now I'm just going in with my Morphe uh, Dual Fiber Brush and just wiping away that excess bake and then I'm taking my Real Technique setting brush and making sure that there's no extra powder under my lash line or anything and then I'm going to go ahead and take my damn Beauty Blender and just make sure that everything is blended together, make sure all the powder is pressed into the skin just to avoid any creasing and then taking a little bit of my MAC Studio Fix Powder and putting a little bit more under my eyes just to bring some color back to my eyes and give it a little bit more of a full coverage look. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock It uh, Face Setting Powder and I'm taking my Too Faced Powder Brush and I'm only going to set the areas where I'm applying bronzer and where I'm applying blush just so that everything just goes on smoothly. So like in my cheek area and under my neck a little bit and then I'm taking it a little bit on my forehead as well. So now I'm going in with my Holy Grail Bronzer, my Physician's Formula. Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. I'm taking my big puffy uh, e.l.f. powder brush and I'm using that to apply it as I usually do. Now I'm taking this Tarte palette and using that brown shade on a flat definer brush. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my lower lash line. You know I have to get super, super close to the camera. Oh, kiss. Okay, bye babe. <laughs> well, I went ahead and did both eyes off camera just because it's easier for me to get super close and to do that. Now I'm taking this Morphe blush palette, I think it's the 9N or the 9B, and I'm taking that coral shade that I just pointed to, and I'm using that for my blush. Now for highlight, I'm taking the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and using a Real Techniques fan brush. I'm going to go ahead and Put that on my cheeks. I just repurchased this because I just ran out of it, and oh my god, I forgot how much like I love this highlight. Like it is my, I feel like this highlight is like definitely my ride or die. This is a highlight that I know I can always count on. It's always gonna look good. It's never gonna look like too much. This highlight is perfect. If you don't have it, please stop watching this video and go and buy it because you definitely need this in your life. It is just like I feel like it's a staple in everybody's highlight collection. It's like the best. So now I'm taking that same Morphe brush and just blending everything together, making sure everything looks good. By the way, if you're wondering why I put my brush in the mirror, it was a little extra highlight, so I said, what the hell, let me pick it, up, pick it up on the brush and just put more all over my face. And now I'm putting a little bit more um, blush on just so that the highlight doesn't look like it's a streak across my face, just so everything just looks like it's a nice gradient effect, nice and blended together. Now I'm taking a more precise highlighting brush. This one is by Morphe. I think it's the R36. I could be completely wrong, to be honest. But I felt like, you know, I needed a little bit more glow. So I figured I'd take a little more of a precise one and go ahead and put a little more highlight all over my face. Now I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and just putting it all over my face just so everything looks nice and just blended together. This is like a step that I never miss in my routine. I feel like it just really just brings the whole face together all the powders and the highlight, I just think it makes it look great. Now I'm going in with this ColourPop eyeliner in the shade white, I want to say. I'm going to have it listed below, so don't worry. But I'm taking this white eyeliner and putting it right in my waterline. I love this liner. I love the color. Literally, it will last you all day for your naps, if you're crying, whatever. Like This liner will not budge, and it is so white. You can like see it like a mile away. Like It is great. The only thing that I hate with the ColourPop liners is just that like they break super easily so this one is broken so I keep having like twist it to make it come up and then sometimes it pokes me in the eye because it just comes falling out of like the little tube that's the only downfall about it but I mean it is great up oh, there I go again applying some more highlight <laughs> now to finish off the look I'm taking my makeup forever mist and fix setting spray and just taking pretty much taking a shower in it <laughs> 
Next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Mascara. I like to do this after I set my face just because when I do put my setting spray on, I feel like if I move my eyes in the slightest, my mascara gets all over the place and just becomes a mess. So I like to like set my face and then go in with my mascara. It's just it's what I do. I do the same thing for my top and for my lower lash line. While my face is still damp, I'll go ahead and, and put a little bit more highlight on my face. My face, I feel like this really makes your highlight pop. It's just, it's a step that I never miss. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take L'Oreal Telescopic and line my lower lash line with it. Not line, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, that completes this look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, on my lips, I am wearing Bite Beauty Thistle. It is a great shade. If you need that too in your life, please go and get it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and thank you so much for watching.